Hello guys and welcome. So this week I'm with uh, somebody a little new. This is my girlfriend Charlie. Hi. Uh, and actually your first language isn't really English, is it? Ish. So I grew up completely bilingually between Welsh, because I'm from Wales, and learning English. From a really young age I learned both, and I spoke both at home. So I'm kind of equal in both languages. Perfect. Mm. Um, so this week we're going to be looking at the questions for Waseda Law University, um, I think, or is it Waseda Business University? Uh, oh, hang on. You've got the first bit. It is Waseda University Law Department. There we go. Mm. And um, the first section is sentences with underlined sections, and we have to choose which ones are incorrect. So. Question number one. Let her know that she ought to leave the house until 3 p.m. for us to make it to the show on time. Do you know the, the error in this one? Can you see it straight away? What? Question number one. Because I can. Well, yes, until. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. use until there. Good. So, <laughs> I don't know why I said good, you also speak <laughs> Thank English. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, so the error is section B. You would say leave the house by 3 p.m., not until. So the full sentence is, let her know that she ought to leave the house by 3pm for us to make it to or the before. show on time. On time Or before. Before, probably. before also works, yeah. Mm. You can use either. Good. Okay, question two. I just, I'm going to keep saying good, so I'm in, I'm in teacher mode. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep taking the praise, it's Question number two. Prior to the meeting, much effort was spent trying to convince people who opposed this idea to this idea of redeveloping the old part of town. I think the fact that I made a mistake reading it kind of tells which it you was the. I did give that one away. So the error is in C. People who opposed to this idea, uh, you don't need the preposition to. It would just be proposed who opposed this idea. So. The whole sentence, prior to the meeting, much effort was spent trying to convince people who opposed this idea of redeveloping the old part of town. Question number three. The candidate may seem to be competent at first sight, but he may not at all if what everyone is saying is true. Have a closer look at this one. What do you think? That's a tough one. That's probably the toughest so far, I'd say. Because um... if I said the candidate may seem to be competent at first sight, but he may not be at all if what everyone else is saying, or everyone is saying is true. Does that make sense to you? It does. But he may not be at all, or he may not. Yeah, I think that's, you need a be in between not and at for that to make full competent sense anyway. I still don't feel like any secure answer on that as an English <laughs> No! <speaker. laughs> it's a bit difficult that one. I think um, we're gonna get roasted in the for that one. Probably. <laughs> yeah, some of you were saying two weeks ago that the one about with all the law terminology was a piece of cake. I saw that comment. No, it bloody wasn't. <laughs> it was difficult, alright? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll just kick the camera. Question number four. Uh, we could not have dinner at the Italian restaurant you recommend. No, it would be recommended. Recommend is present tense. That is, I read it wrong. It says recommended. But yes, you're in English. You, you would be correct. <laughs> well done. Had I read it correctly, you would be uh, you would be correct. So we could not have dinner at the Italian restaurant you recommended. I think. The only thing I'd say is you might want to put a that in that you recommended. I've just realised there's a, there's a fourth clause that I didn't see. Should we let's restart oh, that okay. one? I know. I'm just terrible at this, I have a funny feeling I? it's going to be the fourth bit. <laughs> anyway, we cannot have dinner at the Italian restaurant you recommended as it was close for the holidays. Yes, I already know that one. Hey, you were correct. It was the one I didn't read. It's D. Why is it D? Because it's closed. Your, yeah, I think there's two areas here then. I didn't see that one. As it was closed, past tense, for the holidays. Unless, that's an American. Well, it could be as it was close to the holidays. Like it wasn't open because it was close to the holidays, like Christmas. 
Because if they said, we could not have dinner at the Italian restaurant you recommended as it was close to the holidays. So if you change the preposition for to two, it means, you know, Christmas was two days ago, so they're still closed. I think that was how I got it. It is a restaurant, it's probably going to be closed for the holidays, right? Probably. That makes sense then. That, I mean, they both make sense. Mm. But either way, the error is in D, so that's all you need to say. Um, question number five. Whoever helps repair the relationship between the two warring nations is more than likely to go down in history as a great global leader. To go down in history. Yeah? Okay. I'm ready. What do you think? It's quite difficult. You haven't got a clue? Seems... You're the expert, definitely, as opposed to me. Um, for me, that seems fine. Yeah. I, I think it is also all correct. Um, that makes total sense to me. Mm. Anyway, so thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Bye. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.